next contest here at ESW, hit me with your best shots, is a singles match scheduled for one fall. one fall. And it is a big time open challenge. We saw it on the ESW Facebook and Instagram pages that Bill Collier was issuing an open challenge tonight, a big time open challenge. I feel bad for whoever he faces because his punch will knock you out and I have felt it more times than I'd like to admit. Hailing from Jacksonville, Florida, weighing at 251 pounds, this is Big Time Bill Collier! Again, big time Bill Collier issuing an open challenge tonight to anybody in the ESW locker room. I don't know. Bill Collier's been a little bit of a role lately. I don't know who would be, so might two, be foolish enough well to step two, up to the uh, plate. Uh, don't say foolish. you got two ways to look at this. You take out big time, you move right up the ladder. No, without a doubt, it's a huge and opportunity. Why not be foolish? Hell, if you get knocked out, at least you got knocked out by big time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Uh, I, I don't really Let's like give him credit. Yes, like we just said. Really He's like really going to come out here. And, look at Bill Collier's laughing. I don't think this is what Bill had in mind. From Reno, Nevada. Weighing it at 186 pounds, the Big Bang Jerk Coggins! What lord did you see that awful mustache? Whoa, whoa, whoa! And he got a live microphone. W, I knew none of you were expecting the man, the myth, the legend, Jerk Coggins tonight! And neither was Bell. What a jerk! But unfortunately for you, Bill Collier, I'm the only man in the back with the guts to come out here to fight you. I mean, that might be true. And as far as I'm concerned, this is not the big time open challenge. You, sir, have accepted the Jerk Coggins Open Challenge. Trying to turn it around on Bill Collier? I sure hope he doesn't have what the heck you got I really don't want to see what that move entails. I'm quite nervous about that. Well, Jerk Hawkins going right to work on Bill Collier. Wasn't faced by any of those punches. Oh my God! That big boot just kicked his head right through the uprights. Just Oh God. Last time I saw a replica, I saw a Toyota on the side of the 90. Well, just like that car wreck, you can't look away from this. Knock out shot. Put that boy down for three. Your winner, Bill Collier. I think after that shot, though, you could have counted to 100. I think that's a record for the shortest match in the SW history. What was that, under a minute? It may have been a strong 69 seconds. Got an official. I'm sure it was. Nice. And we get it confirmed from the back. It was 69 seconds long. Wait a minute. Lights are out here. Um, this, is, this is not the treatment. What's the, I thought the open um, challenge was done. What's this? Oh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that open challenge is dead. I don't know if the production guy knows what's going on here. Um, I don't know what's going on. I pressed the wrong button on iTunes. Are we oh, immediately no. going to the next match here? Um, Second, what's going on? I don't know. Oh my god! Wait a minute! Kevin Blackwood! We have Brian Buffalo, Buffalo New York! Weighing it at 187 pounds! Wait a minute! This is unkillable! Kevin Blackwood! Hi! It's gone! He's back! I didn't know he was here today. I haven't seen him all until just now. He said he wasn't here earlier. Listen to this crowd. Kevin Blackwood's back in here. 
this W! Can he be accepted the big time of a challenge? Oh God, please. Bill Kali. I've watched you for years from the other side of the barrier to the locker room. I've watched you fight guys my size. I've watched you fight guys your size. I've watched you beat everyone and anyone you've stepped in the ring with. But you've never beaten me. Oh. I may not be a monster and I may not be a technical wizard in this ring, but I've stared death in the face and he couldn't hold me down. So why don't you step in this ring and I'll show you what time it is. Well, we are on. Slide the paperwork and bring that belt. We got a ref in the ring. You say you stared death in the face? Well, I beat him too. I can see what you're trying to do here. Now, we're all happy that you're back. But you're trying to ride the same wave that your buddy Danny Garcia caught last month. Oh. I'm not Brandon Thurston. And if you go through with this, the next place you'll see me is from the hospital bed again. Oh. Collier threatening to send Blackwood right back to the hospital. Make sure you step to me, kid. You got two good legs to do it on. Oh. Big words from a very big man. We are on. And Blackwood's not backing down. Bell's rung. This is a match for the first time ever. Singles action between Blackwood and Bill Collier. Not often we see a one-time match between these two. This is the first time I think they've gone toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It is officially a grudge match after that war of words they, these, these two just had with each other. We haven't seen Kevin Blackwood in ESW since that car accident back in January. And this crowd, and usually they're all about college because they are all black and seem to say, just like you and I, they are surprised to see them. But these are two guys I love watching in the ring. Now look at the intensity on Blackwood. Trying to take out the knee of Bill Collier. Mocking the big man. I said earlier that I thought, you know, Daniel Garcia and Jay Freddy could have been matched tonight, but this one, this could easily be a match that I can as well, not knowing about it going into it here. And now both of these men going toe to toe and a hard slap right to the face of Collier. And look at Blackwood not even backing down. Collier driving Blackwood right into the corner. Shoulder after shoulder in the abdomen, misses that chop, and Blackwood coming right back at him. Blackwood, he, he is not seeming to have any rust on him. Kick up Roy where he left off, kicking ass and taking aim to that ring. He looks good to go. Spin kick, and a boot right to the face. A little duck out of it here. With his hips, he sent Blackwood all the way to the outside. And here, here's something that, you know, Blackwood alluded to earlier. He's been watching Collier from both the stands as well as the locker room. Wait a minute here. Oh, Blackwood going to the air, toe base to Lucina. But it didn't take the big man down. Collier right back in the ring with a huge close line. Oh, as I was saying earlier, Blackwood alluded to the fact that he's been watching Collier month in and month out there. And you got to realize, when you're watching the guy that intensely, you're studying his every move. Collier had no idea this was coming tonight. He had no way to prepare for this like Blackwood did. That could be his ace in the hole. I can see Blackwood getting uh, his arm raising victory tonight for sure. Well, Blackwood's got to got to find a way to battle back into this match after those two huge clotheslines. The club right to the back of Kevin Blackwood. Oh, you can see blood coming out of Blackwood's mouth right there. Those two Larry's took a lot out of the look like he busted his lip, maybe even up two. And now Collier. 
Looking for that suplex. Sends him all the way to the other side of the ring. And yeah, look at that. Is that blood is flowing from his mouth there. And you know, you, you, you know, it's like a shark. You taste your own blood. It does things to you. It makes you enraged. It makes you vicious. That could be a bad omen there for Collier once Blackwood tastes his own blood. But now look at Blackwood here trying to battle back with that elbow right to the mush. And speaking of injuries, I know I didn't see it. Wait a minute here, into a cover. Oh, we didn't see one. it earlier, but if you look at Collier's back, it looks like he's got a bandage on there. I don't know what the deal with that is. Maybe he had some sort of infection or a cut or something. That could be something that you know Blackwood can target later on too to help take uh, Big Time down. And say that Big t that puts a target right on that side of Bill Collier. But now look at Blackwood as his crowd wills him back into the match. Blackwood's off the ropes here with a knee right to the gut. And who knows, that, that bleeding from the mouth, that could be some internal injuries as well. It could be an internal injury. It's been a while. I know I know Blackwood has been doing some wrestling, you know, in different places around the U.S. They're trying to get back uh, into the ring and get to the grind and have everything here to get that ring rust off. But you don't know how much, you know, toll has been taken out of the Wait a minute places. here, into a cover two and only two. But Even though this is his first time back at ESW, he's been working in those other places against other guys, maybe Bill side trying to get ready for this. Like I said, Collier had no idea this match was going to happen. This could have been Blackwood's plan all along to target him. And if he wins, I guarantee you he can shoot right up into that world title pitcher. I going to say Blackwood looking to make a statement upon his return here to ESW. And like you had mentioned, what a way to do so if he's able to knock off big time Bill Collier. Say the first time so I've really seen anybody just come in here blind against Kevin against Bill Collier and really take it to him here. I believe the last time I saw Collier in any type of peril was against the big man Josh Briggs. We'll be seeing later on there. But he knew about that match going in. He was able to study and prepare. He had nothing to plan for for this. And you know, that, that's a hard, hard battle to win when you have no idea you're out of the out of the frying pan and into the fire, as they say. Well, especially when Collier already thought his night was done after defeating Jerk Hawkins. But he now wanted, he wanted the easy night for sure, and this is no easy tech against Blackwood. But he's got Blackwood deadlifted all the way up, seven feet to the floor. And now into the cover goes Bill Collier. Gets two and only two. And he has resistance. Blackwood said himself he has faced death, and he did not keep him down. He is not staying down for Collier. He needs to get that second win. I could see Blackwood getting the win over Collier. And how fitting would it be if he was to get that win, move up the ladder, and then maybe see a Blackwood-Garcia match for that title? How oh. fitting would that be? Oh, that's a dream match waiting to happen. That's a main event anywhere in the U.S. there. That is a possibility if he can beat Big Time Bill Collier. I'm say right now he's got to get around Big Time Bill Collier. And that's no easy task, but it looks like he could have Bill's number. Even though Bill might have the upper hand right now, Blackwood is extremely resilient. And a hard chop there to Blackwood. But like we had mentioned, Blackwood... Not backing down. Oh my God! Look at the intensity, though. After that shot, if anything, it might have just pissed him off. Then another. You saw earlier in the match, Blackwood slapped Collier, and that woke Collier up. Those shots have the same effect on Black. He is waking up, and like I said, a shot. the arm. He is not angry, and he is going to go to handle everything he has got. And a couple of stiff kicks right to the chest, and a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and now. Off the rope, here goes Blackwood. Snap oh. suplex! And that is a big, big man to be thrown around, and he had no problem doing that. He has got that second win. Went for that knee to the face, but instead had to do a spin kick instead. Still rocked the big man. Looking for it. Spike DDT got it! Precision. Into the cover. Precision. Two and no! Only two. Two and a half, says the official. Well, look at this here. Running kick connects. And not wasting any time. It's Blackwood. Huge drop kick right to the chest. And now Blackwood looking to go up top. Crowd is going nuts for him. 
Collier writhing in pain in the center of the ring. Blackwood waiting for the right moment to strike. For the elbow, got it! Into the cover. Two for the win, only two. That was a picture, perfect elbow drop. That was Randy Savage style right there from Blackwood on the Collier. And now look at this. Blackwood standing tall over Bill Collier. Looking for that suplex. Can he lift the big man up? Gets him up into his shoulder. For that pile driver. Gonna try to get it all here. But Collier able to battle his way out of it here. Super kick right to the chin. And that almost knocks Blackwood right out. For that side ball slam avoids it though. Blackwood the big counter. Lands on his feet, thrown down and then up. Oh! Two and no! Oh! Collier hit the BOB and still! Oh, Connor for Connor like a game of chess. Back and forth we go in this contest. And like you said, this could be a contender for the match of the night. Well, a game of chess going Connor for Connor. Well, hit him with his big shot, no pun intended. But now, look, but now look at Collier stalking Blackwood like prey. Going up for it here, Blackwood, oh my god, that neck went right across the top rope. Blackwood into the cover. Blackwood into the cover. Two and only two off that cross body. Blackwood hitting him with a special shot, taking a page out of color. He's fucking hitting with a spear for our count of two. And just what the, is it going to take for these two? I'll say just the look of disbelief on the face of Kevin Blackwood after he didn't get the two. And now Blackwood. Sizing up Bill Collier in the corner. Looking for that running kick again, but missed. Drove that knee right into the second row. Spear by Collier! But Collier not done! I think he's called for the fist. Oh no. Gets Blackwood up to his shoulders in the fireman's carry. Vintage Sig Collier, vintage! Signals the end, spikes him down! Gets only two! Collier can't believe it! Bill can't believe it! Official Barry can't believe it! The crowd can't believe it! And I can't believe it! That's the type of face I make when I see my bar tap at the end of the night. That's just ridiculous. Bill Collier doesn't know what to do! Come on, Bill. Now Collier just going right back to work. Shot after shot to the head of Kevin Blackwood. As Collier now goes through his mind, goes what's left in the tank to take Kevin Blackwood out. He has hit him with everything he's got except for that big punch. That's the only thing he's got left in his tank that it could possibly take out Blackwood. If nothing else has, I don't know what will. And a headbutt almost knocks this Blackwood is out. This territory the most big man, but Bill Collier feels at home up there. Are we looking for a superplex? These two men nearly going through the dang ceiling. Super kick! Oh. You know, last time I was in the ring with Bill Collier in a match setting, he was on the rope. He hit me with a spear from the second rope, and I was out of my boots, and I retired from us. It's that hard of a hit. So wait a minute here. This is a dangerous spot for Blackwood to be, but like, like Bill said earlier in the match, he might be looking to put Blackwood right back in that hospital. And now a couple of clubs as Blackwood battles his way, fights his way out of it. Looking for that super flex of his own. He's got the big man up! Super flex! Come on! No! Only two! But Blackwood still fired up. Collier's writhing in the corner in pain. He's got that defense up. Oh! Blackwood's shot to the face. My God, Blackwood's knocked out. Down, no! This crowd thought it was over and only two. I can't. Somehow, I can't even with them. Somehow 
black like managed to either kick out on pure instinct or somehow got his wits about him just long enough for the two. This is awesome. It, I echo the sentiments of this crowd. This jam-packed crowd in Tonawanda. Channing, this is awesome and rightfully so. And the roll-up, two, only two, come here, kicks out. And now Blackwood, looking for the knee again, got it! Into the cover! Got it! Turned around, noticed what was going on. These two gentlemen gave everything they had plus some oh. to each other and more importantly to this crowd. Oh, they just went to war. These two men just simply went to war. Blackwood ready for a fight. But Bill Collier extending the hand. All of Branch and respect right there. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. For big time, Bill Collier and the ESW in ring return of Kevin Blackwood. The ultimate sign of respect, Bill Collier raising the hand of Kevin Blackwood. But let's hear what the big man's got to say. Welcome home, Kevin. Simple. Welcome home, indeed. And thank you, Kevin, for that match. Thank you, Collier, for that match. Ladies and gentlemen, not only could that be match of the night, but that could be a match of the year candidate. Without a doubt. Let's hear from the man himself. I didn't plan on talking more tonight, but from the minute we hit that guardrail until right now, thank you guys so much. It's been eight months in the making, but Unkillable Kevin Blackwood is back at Empire State Wrestling. 